AP Psychology has also come under question in Florida, and today the state's education commissioner said the course can be taught in its entirety in a manner that is age and developmentally appropriate. But there's still some confusion about what that really means. And with just three days until the first day of school for many Bay Area students, it is leaving teachers a bit uneasy. News Channel East Lenny Sipal joining us live with that story tonight. Lenny, uh, this isn't the only issue teachers are concerned about either. You're absolutely right, Keith. Yes, uh, we are hearing from teachers. We spoke with many of them today. They say that their lesson plan isn't even finalized because they're still learning about changes that they need to make to their curriculum to meet state guidelines. And so feelings very mixed. Some teachers say that they are anxious, frustrated, even scared. But one veteran teacher says she's remaining optimistic. Donning a brilliant smile ahead of the first day of school, Cynthia Gadson has been a Hillsborough County teacher for nearly three decades. She says teaching second grade at She High Elementary is a labor of love. But this year comes with changes she's never experienced before. These changes may be necessary, but at the same time, because I'm just finding out about it today as a teacher, I have to go ahead on and be flexible again. This year, every book in Gadsden's classroom library must be scanned and approved. And she's still waiting to learn the complex curriculum the state is requiring for reading. So a training I haven't taken yet that I need to take and it depends on when they have openings, they're gonna offer it to teachers who didn't make it in the summer. In Pinellas County, several high school teachers feeling discouraged after fierce debate over AP psychology and the state's move to ban AP African American studies courses. For many, it means scrapping lesson plans that were months in the making. It is very nerve wracking because I'm going to be going to school on Thursday, not exactly 110% prepared for uh, my three psychology classes. No, I am scared. I'm scared to do anything that's outside of just a basic textbook these days. Teacher shortage is also weighing heavy. Hillsborough County reporting more than 500 vacancies district wide. That means you're going to have double work if you are there, double work, no pay increase. You're not getting paid extra for it. I'm okay with it because I'm a veteran teacher, I'm a soldier. So Cynthia Gadsden went on to say that she is confident that the school will have resources and support staff in place, but she's also saying that the new school year will be met with growing pains. Reporting live in Tampa tonight, Lenny Supal, 8 on your side.